So I'm here at Coors with uh, Todd, the manager, and we're just going to ask him a few questions because uh, these Troxxas bikes are uh, are selling like hotcakes. Yes. Hey Todd, so here we are looking at two great bikes. Uh, yes. Tell us the history of Chorus, like how long has it been around? Oh, Chorus. Chorus has been here um, a little over a year. Um, the name Cora came from the owner, Charles, his uh, sister. Her name is Cora. Um, short story back in the 70s, she was saying, what if these bikes went by themselves? Light bulb came up and then she got involved in that. Um, so anyway, that's why I called it Cora's is just she kind of came up with the idea in the 70s a little bit, not on her own, but there were some other people out there in it. So that's a short story. Awesome. Um, Charles has been working since he's 11 years old and uh, him and his brothers and family have 20 stores in uh, Virginia, Florida, Austin, D.C., over on the other side. There. So this so, store has only been here a year? This store has only been here a year. Ah, okay. Yes. So who are your customers typically? Um, you know, they range from uh, you know, younger to older. Um, sometimes people have a bad knee or... Um, they might be blind in one eye, they might need a trike, uh, want something more stable or something they can ride, and having the pedal assist helps them, them get on a bike and go and ride again. So what, what are people normally looking for? I guess, to, as you say, depends on what they're... Yeah, I, like I said, I always usually ask them what kind of ride they'll be doing, then I'll, I'll try to get them into the right bike or their needs that they're going to be using for. So my wife and I are going to be doing extreme motocross type stuff, right? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no. But uh, trails and, you know, BLM land and stuff like that for yeah, us. Yeah, then I'd get more, you can get more of an address, aggressive tire bike like this, bigger tires, a little something more stable. You can get a step through version or step over version, depending on your flexibility. And then you can go on pretty much any trails or rocks or gravel. Awesome. So, what should people look for in a bike? Um, like, uh, Demographics they should, aside, they should feel uh, comfortable and uh, and uh, feel safe. Uh, make sure that they read their manuals and make sure they know where everything's at before they ride it. And I'll, I'll teach them here, and then uh, we have teachers available if they need to be taught, you know, how to ride a bike or e bike. Um, so I just want to make sure people are safe and they feel comfortable, and that way you'll have a lot more fun. And that's kind of like a good tip on riding one. Uh, yes. What about maintenance? What kind of tips uh, would you? You just want to make sure you have the right uh, tire pressure um, for one, and then make sure your batteries are charged up so you don't run out of uh, uh, juice when you're out somewhere far away because <laughs> they're a little harder to ride when they're not, you know, pedal assisted. And yeah. The now, a lot of people say you shouldn't have batteries plugged in all the time. Is that probably accurate? Yeah, you don't want to overcharge them. Um, you don't, uh, don't want to reuse the wrong charger. Things like that. Just use the charger that came with the bike, um, and just make sure you plug it into the wall, and then plug it into the bike, um, and just yeah, don't overcharge it because that can, it gets hot, and um, I think over time it can you know make the battery not last as long. Awesome. Well, we're going to be putting two bikes together today. Whenever Bruce is free. <laughs> nice hat. Yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Todd. We'll Thank you. get Appreciate back to you.